Welcome uh, to this presentation of Sintu Cloud, and thank you to the Sparse 3D team for this opportunity. There will be two of us speaking today. I'm Dominic Puliquin, in charge of business development and product management, and I will briefly introduce Sintu Cloud to you. Then my colleague Rob will be making a demo of the platform and will reveal a few interesting new stuff that we are currently working on. So let me start by introducing SintoCloud to you. SintoCloud is a, is a platform that will make your laser scans fully cloud compatible. That means shareable, collaborative, viewable from anywhere at any time in a simple web browser and distributable to various stakeholders, being project members or contractors. You can also enrich your laser scan data with annotations, issues, or measurements. And with Sintu Cloud, you give access to your scans to many, many more users than the conventional desktop-based point cloud workflows that create silos in your company or with your subcontractors. We proudly serve more than 100 companies worldwide since we started selling Sintu Cloud about 18 months ago. And while we do a lot of business in North America, we also have customers in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. And they have uploaded more than 1 billion square feet of laser scan data to the platform over the last one year and a half, representing around 600,000 scans. And this is growing every day. These are scans from construction sites, building and office spaces, factories, plants, electric substations, or historic sites and buildings, anywhere accurate static scanners bring a strong value to your daily work. The core technology behind Sintu Cloud took many years of research and development. We can turn each point cloud from each scan into a very high resolution 3D mesh that can then be, that can then be streamed very fast in a web browser. People would call us the Netflix for 3D data for this very reason. One first good news about this point cloud to mesh technology is that it will make your laser scan data 10 to 20 times smaller and therefore much easier to upload to the cloud. The other very good news about this technology is that we retain the accuracy of the source scans and the structure of the project and we are able to perform the mesh to point cloud inverse transformation so that you can get back your point cloud in its original form, size, density, color, and structure. This is very unique to Sintu. The way it works is the following. We will take your laser scan data after it has been registered in a software like Recap Pro, Pharocene, Leica Cyclone, or Trimble Rearworks. We support either E57, RCP, or FLS for these uh, structure scans. And the person that has access to these source scans will then run locally on his machine or her machine a software called Sintu Connect that will perform the point cloud to mesh transformation on the upload to the cloud. In the cloud, everything is then mesh based, accessible by a simple WebGL browser with no plugin to install. If you need to distribute back the scans to the desktop apps for scan to beam or clash detection, for example, you can do this in various formats. You can export a unified mesh or of a cropped area in OBJ, STL, or FBX. You can also export a set of scans or the whole project by running the Sintu Connect app again. And Sintu Connect will do the inverse transformation mesh to point cloud and, get, and then get a unified point cloud in E57, RCP, or RCS, or structure scans in E57 or RCP. Of course, you can export various files and data from the platform, such as lists of scans in Excel, issues in BCF. B BCF means Beam Collaboration Format. You can also generate reports in PDF that contain hyperlinks to your measurements or annotations. You can also generate shared views and give access to your data with a simple URL. Connecting to BIM360, you will be able to pull BIM models in IFC, 3DWG, Revit, or Navisworks formats. We also recently added JT as well, and we are adding more as we speak, including 2DDWG. The goal is to overlay the BIM model to the scans and detect differences between your design and the S-built. Finally, you can push and sync those issues created in Sinto Cloud to our partner's platform BIMTrack for BIM coordination, or push also those issues back to BIM360 as well. 
So now is the time for a demo of Sintu Cloud. Rob, I leave the stage to you now. Thanks, Dominique. So now let's jump into the product. Now I am in Sintu Cloud using Microsoft Edge as my web browser. You can also use Chrome or Firefox. These are my projects in my demo account, which I can view through thumbnails via a list or on a map. I am now selecting one of these projects. I have already uploaded 54 scans in this one that are Faro scans, Leica scans, and ZNF scans, previously registered in Autodesk Recap Pro. Let me show you this one as an example. This is a ZNF bubble view or panoramic image, which I can now play in the 3D view. The first view that we will see will be displayed as a 2D panoramic image. From here we will go to the 3D RGB mode, which is the 3D mesh with colors attached to each vertex. By removing the color from the 3D mesh, you will really see what Sintu's technology is all about. This is the surface mode, where we can really see what has been captured by the laser beam independently from the RGB sensor. From this camera angle, if you look at this from the 3D RGB or 2D panoramic image mode, you'll see almost nothing. But switching to the 3D surface, you really see every single detail for the geometry that has been captured with the scanner. And of course, the higher the density of your scan, the higher the density of your mesh. So let me switch to another vantage point, like this one, to show the mesh streaming happening. And you will get the finest level of detail if you zoom in. This shows you what the technology can do for you. It will reveal details in your scans that you have probably never seen before, and it makes the data much easier to interpret. You can use the surface mode or any other 3D display mode to take measurements, picking the exact 3D points that you want that you can then save with the context. You can also create annotations which can be notes, private notes, or issues. So now let me show you some of our other display modes, like this height map. In this case, we will colorize the mesh based on the z-axis. This could be used to give you a good sense of your floor flatness. Another one is the x-ray vision mode. And this one is useful when you switch from the scan to scan navigation while in 3D viewing. You can now see the whole project and the x-ray display will let you see the scan layout through the walls. You can also use the crop tool to create any section along the X, Y, or Z axis so you can isolate any equipment or an area. You can always change the display settings to have a better sense of what you are doing. You can then adjust your crop as much as you want and then save your crop. Saving your crop will allow you to share it with your team members and export it as either a point cloud or as a mesh. A point cloud will require this mesh to point cloud inverse transformation to produce an E57, RCP, or RCS file. You can also create a unified mesh by taking the best contribution from each scan. You can select the density of your mesh, such as one vertex every centimeter in this case. You can select the mesh format between FBX, OBJ, or SDL. We then use cloud computing to quickly compute this unified mesh that you can then download from your data tab to use for your scan to BIM in modeling or clash detection in your desktop applications. Another good example of what you can do with this platform is demonstrated in this project courtesy of our friends at TruePoint Laser Scanning in Toledo, Ohio. Here we have a project that don't, not only has around 100 scans, but also a BIM model. To upload a BIM model to Sintu Cloud, you have two options. Either upload an IFC from your disk, or connect to your BIM 360 Docs account to pull 3D DWGs, Revit, or Navisworks files.
So now when I go to the 3D view, I will get the BIM model and the scans. The BIM model is now downloading while the scans are streamed in real time based on your camera position. If your BIM model and scans are not aligned, we do provide an alignment tool in Sintu Cloud to perform this function. So now that I have switched to scan mode, you will notice that the scans don't have any color, so we display the intensity. Let me switch to the surface mode. So here you now have the scan and BIM overlaid and displayed from the same viewpoint. So now let's select the comparison tool and select to compare the scans to the BIM model. Then I have the visual diff tool that will create a heat map based on the differences between your as-built and your design. So everything in red is data that comes from the laser scans that is not in the BIM model. The goal here is to visually detect issues and from there we can create annotations for further team follow-up. For example, you see here that this door is completely red, so it's probably missing in the BIM model. In order to check that, I go to the visual check tool, and then I can play with the transparency slider. I move it to the left, and I can see my scan data corresponding to my as-built conditions. If I move my slider to the right, I now have the BIM model, and you can see that the door is missing here. So the next step is to document this issue, adding an annotation at this exact 3D point that will be an issue, to which you can attach a name, labels, a severity parameter, a due date, text, photo, video, PDF, or a link to a database. You can even assign a team member to the issue. After selecting Create Annotation, it will be saved with a screenshot and the context. These annotations will either be synced or pushed to BIMTrack, one of the leading platforms for BIM coordination. They will soon be pushed to BIM360, or you can already export them as a BCF file. BCF meaning a BIM collaboration format. So you have various ways to export your annotations. BCF is one. You can also export a PDF, selecting your annotations or measurements from the labels, users, or type. Using BCF, you will then be able to import those files in Revit or Navisworks with the exact geolocation for model coordination. So here's a little preview of what's coming next. We just started a new beta program within Send2 Cloud related to the display of 360 images in addition to your scans. There are more and more platforms providing the possibility to capture either panoramic photos or panoramic videos with cheap devices and use those 360 images to document your site during construction. Good news is that you now can upload those 360 images and send to cloud and complement your scan data. You will then be able to navigate your projects from scan to scan or scan to 360 image or from 360 image to 360 image. Since we don't register the 360 images and send to cloud, we assume, assume that you will upload them together with the CSV file containing the XYZ location and orientation. Please contact us if you are interested by this workflow. We have also started the development to upload unstructured point clouds in Sintu Cloud as well, such as the ones coming from indoor mobile scanners. As you know, there are more and more devices of this kind which can provide a dense point cloud with a good enough mesh accuracy. So it may be time for you to consider using such devices as a complementary solution to your static scanners. What we do with Sent2 Cloud is restructure those unstructured point clouds by creating as many virtual vantage points as necessary to cover the entire area. By adding those virtual static scanner positions, we end up using the same core technologies and features as we do for static scanners inside of Sent2 Cloud. If you are interested to know more about this feature, or if you already have some unstructured data sets that you want to try, please feel free to contact us. Once again, we'd like to thank you for your time today and remind you that you can download a free trial at https com slash try. Also, if you would like to get in touch with us, you can reach us at sin2.com or email us at sales at sin2.com or contact at sin2.com. Thanks again for joining us today.